So when I'm talking, especially young young people nowadays, I feel like I, I'm I'm putting the, putting you guys on the spot. I don't know for sure, but I'm I, I guess I'm going to stereotype a lot of you. You're not proud of Islam. You're not proud of it. Like this is this is it, man. Everything else, I feel sorry for these people. Instead, what's happening to our girls, our daughters, is when they see some girl dressed a certain way, they say, "Oh, I wish I could dress like that." Too bad it's haram, <laughs> right? We see our we see other you know kids you know boys they're doing all kinds of things and we say, "Ah, oh, yeah, my parents wouldn't let me do that. It's apparently not allowed, or something," you know. But the right attitude would be, I feel bad for that girl. Look at how she has to dress herself, how she has to put herself on display. She, she's looking for attention like that, while Allah has already given me attention by my, you know, by my Islam. All the dignity I need, all the recognition I need, Allah has already given me. Why do people do the kinds of ignorant things they do? You know what they're looking for? Is attention and respect. If you really have Islam, you don't, you're not looking for it anywhere else. You already got it. And when you find other people pathetically searching for it in other things, you can actually look down on them and say, I feel bad for you. Let me show you something better you can aspire to, you know? So that's, that's the kind of attitude that's really important.